Welcome back to our show today. We are talking about music. This is Talanta TV Live and we are talking about The Reborn, which is a campus Christian Union fellowship with Talanta TV to just bring us what we are always anticipating to hear from us here. And as Christians, how are we supposed to dwell even in the house of the Lord and the songs that we are listening each and every day, the things that we do, uh, the common things that happens in campus and uh, the live shows that we go view and those secular music and religion, how are they all in, in, interrogated together and intermingled together to bring us the concept of this? And today with our panelists, today, last week we talked about our life in campus and today we just want to highlight what we do in music and what is the relationship between Christianity and music. Remember to watch us live on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter at Talanta Institute and Instagram at Talanta underscore Institute. And just to welcome my panelists with me here is uh, Saran Toki. He's a, she's a student at the University of Nairobi and Steve Joroge, who is also a student at the University of Nairobi. Chris, uh, they come from Main Campus Christian Union and they're here to give us a highlight on how music, and that is secular and religion, and we now draw the boundary, is it? And I think welcome to our show, and just to make an highlight. Today we are talking about music. Now, what gives us the boundary? I think that is where I will just start. Or let me give you time. Just introduce yourself. You also introduce yourself. We did that last week. Hi, everyone. I'm um, Mwanzaf Sarah. I'm a guest student at uh, Tech in Economics. And uh, I'm blessed to be here. And uh, it's my hope that you will. It's my hope that you will walk with us as we talk about music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, <coughs> my name is Steven Joroge. I am a student at UON. I pursue mechanical engineering and I'm a born again Christian. Now, we talk about music, and uh, there is this note that these days everything, uh, music, let me just start by saying that music is said that it touches the subconscious mind. And that is where the, what you didn't expect to happen is where it happens. As in, music can start making your life, your head to start moving, right? Yeah. Now, what is this thing that we now call secular and religion? Maybe start with Sarah. What is your definition of secular and religion? Wow. <coughs> Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> for me, I think that is, okay, there, is, there is a big difference when it comes to religion. In religion, we have the Christian songs, then we have what people now call the secular music. Mm -hmm. Just to eliminate the difference, for me, I think uh, secular music is those kind of the genre of music that opposes what God glorifies, a mighty glorifies what God opposes. Mm -hmm. And in most of the time, this kind of music, they try to, they try to, they, they, they try to promote immorality, uh -huh. uh, violence. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find that they don't uphold some moral values such as integrity, honesty, purity. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a journey of music that glorifies what the Bible, all what God opposes. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes now to Christian music, uh, according to the Bible, music was meant purposely to worship God. Yeah. So for me, I can say Christian music, it's music that is purposely intended to worship God. Mm -hmm. What about Steve? What, uh, what, what is your main aspect of talking about this religious and this is not religious, this is secular? Okay, my view about religious music mm -hmm. and, and in this case Christian music mm -hmm. uh, because we, this is a Christian show and we are talking about Christian faith. Mm -hmm. It is music that is aimed at uh, the glory of God or uh, to bring forth the various attributes of God, either to praise God for who he is yeah. and what he has done, or to worship him for who he is. And when you talk about secular music, mm -hmm. it is the whole opposite of what, what God is. There is no attribute of God in secular music. There is no attribute of the things that, would, that God would take ple uh, pleasure in, in mm -hmm 
in, in secular music. That, that's what I would say. Okay, now, Sarah, in these two categories, uh, we've said that this is secular and this is religious. You know, there are songs that, at points, they, they don't talk about the bad things that we do in life or anything like that. Yeah. They, the, the lyrics, you see, the lyrics don't like uh, make us to talk about illicit sex, uh, provocative, provocative clothing, drug and maybe alcohol, violence. They just have lyrics about maybe work and anything. Now, how are we going now to categorize or are we supposed to listen to such music? I can't really say they are secular, I can't also really say they are Christian, mm -hmm. but if uh, the kind of, those kind of songs, they uphold integrity, honesty, the song is not violent, the song does not promote what sin is, mm -hmm. then I don't think if there is any harm listening to that kind of song. For example, a love song that promotes the sanctity of marriage, but there is no mention of God there. It's, it's a song just trying to promote love, so uh -huh. I don't see if there is any harm in it. So, uh, Steve, let's just uh, think of this way. If now the song that... So it means that it's the lyrics and the actions that makes uh, the song to be secular or not secular. Yeah. Well, I'd say uh, to differentiate between uh, religious, in this case Christian music, uh -huh. and secular music and contemporary music, you can't really tell... Where does it fall? Is it secular or is yeah. it Christian? Mm -hmm. So the, the, the baseline for me is that um, the music that, that uh, we, we consume and whether to classify it as secular or Christian mm -hmm. or contemporary, mm -hmm. we should base our argument on what is presented in the Bible. Uh, if a song uh, propagates or advances the the concepts and the biblical concepts that are presented in scripture, Yes, I think it will not be wrong for us to listen to it. But if what that song uh, brings about is completely outside the, the boundaries of the word of God, mm -hmm. I think as Christians... That is where the line now the line comes to, to, exactly. to be drawn. Yeah. Now, um, from the biblical view now, I don't know, Sarah, if you have any uh, biblical view concerning music and its lyrics. Okay, uh, uh, okay. actually, mm -hmm. music in the Bible mm -hmm. is mentioned as early as in Genesis chapter 4. Mm -hmm. It was the time that they were given the, geolo the genealogy of Cain after yeah. God had told him all that stuff. And there was this man called Jubal, and the Bible refers to him as he was the, ma he was the father of all those who played up. That mm. is the instrument. Yeah. So that basically means that music has been there ever since creation. Mm -hmm. And uh, throughout the Bible, music has been mentioned like in the book of First Samuel chapter 16. From verse 14, it's when uh, King Saul had some issues with mental mental condition. Yeah. But when David would come and play the, the harp, hub, yeah, like mm -hmm. he could be, it, it had the soothing he felt. Mm -hmm. And also like uh, the book of Psalms, it's purely songs. Yes. It's purely music that mm. were written by David. Mm -hmm. It's a form of worship to his God. And uh, there's so many biblical view about uh, about uh, about the music the because music. even like music was also used to promote joy in, in someone's mm. art, mm. like in the book of Genesis 31, 27. So the whole of Bible has a lot to do with music. So okay. music is basically. Or music is basically the Bible. It's just trying, because if, if you know, if we sing, we sing to God, we sing, we sing to our lovers, we sing, because when we were in high school, we used to hear of Dutch songs, uh, maybe songs that we sing to for people who have died. We have songs that were sung for work, songs, lullabies, yeah. and all this. Now, but according to our concept here is that uh, religion now, deters us from watching things that promote uh, illicit sex and all that. Now, um, Steve, maybe, from your biblical view, how should we handle now this music? Uh, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the principal thing for me is that uh, we go back to the story of creation. Mm -hmm. uh, and when God makes 
the entire of the world and he makes man. The Bible says that in Genesis that God looked at what he had created and he saw that it was good. And so God made human beings in his own image. Yes. So that means every other aspect that we have as human beings, mm -hmm. uh, it was God that put it there because mm -hmm. he made us in his own image. And therefore, music and the whole aspect of creative arts, it is an attribute that God put in us from his own self. And so music was part of it. Mm -hmm. And when God looked at what he had made, he saw that it was good. And so music in the eyes of God, yes. in the mind of God, is good. So that is, that is from Genesis, the yes. basic concept of music. And as Sarah has said, uh, in Genesis 4 we find that uh, God is the one who made even people who play uh, musical instruments as we know them. They originated from the ancient times. Mm. And so God was behind the whole idea of music. And also in the book of Ezekiel 28, uh, the Bible gives an explanation of the devil that at some point when he was in heaven, he was the leader of music. Yes, uh, yeah, Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer himself. Mm -hmm. And he used to have cherubs. Yes. Someone who has read the book of Leviticus mm -hmm. will understand how the Ark of the Covenant was built. It had two cherubim on its top. And the devil had such, such kind of... Uh, features mm -hmm. uh, on him and so he will make music himself uh, he like his body uh, his form and how God had made him he would make music without requiring any external uh, assistance okay and so the, the, the idea the of beats and everything yes he were generated from himself. himself himself he would make music, the entirety of music himself. Oh, okay. and so the idea of God about music is that it is good. Uh -huh. It is something that is holy. Music is done in heaven. Mm -hmm. It is something that pleases God. It is holy. And so the, the beginning point for us is to approach music in the eyes of the Bible, in the eyes of God, mm -hmm. how music is presented in the Bible. That is what I would say. Oh, okay. Now, um, we have people who have... Uh, you know, in the conceptual world and what people think is that um, these things are done to like earn money. And you'll get that there are people who sing songs that, what we just said, they are not provocative or anything like that. But they feel that it's not touching, it's not selling, you see. Now, if it's not selling now, they start reducing the number of clothes so that it becomes catchy. It becomes it becomes sensual to the eye so that people can, can, can watch them. Now, what are we now going to do as a, like Christians to like, because even yesterday I saw, a, it was, I didn't know actually that it was a Christian song as I was doing my research. And the picture that was in the first picture of it, it was about people kissing. But once you open it, you see, that is to capture my mind to view the same. But once you open it, it's a Christian song. Yeah. Now, how are we Christians now trying to, 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 to cope? Maybe, Sarah, if you, if you can help me with this. It's a, it's a difficult question. Yeah, it's a difficult one, but... Uh -huh. But, okay, the thing is, uh, like, if you, if you have a look at the music industry in mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. it's like, it has now become, it's all about money, fame, yes. and, uh, like, other, other things, apart from now what is what, maybe what it was intended for. Uh -huh. And uh, again, from, as I said earlier, uh -huh. music, the main purpose of music, that is the Christian music, mm -hmm. it was to glorify God. Yeah. But now, since now, people, when they do the music, they, they worship songs, mm -hmm. some of them, they are so slow, maybe they are not, you not know to the rhythm as the other songs. Mm -hmm. That's why you find people now, even they try to bring on the secular beats. Yes, to a, yes, to a Christian, to a Christian song. song. So I guess Christians, to me, we have reached a point where it's like we are really forgetting the reason why we are doing this song. Okay. It's not because of the money, it's not because of the fame, it's because we are supposed to do it because we want to glorify God. Uh -huh. And if you know what you are doing, it's not glorifying God, yes. then don't call it a gospel music. You are lost. Okay. Now, uh, Steve. Maybe your own perspective, or you want to add something? Yeah, I want to add something. Mm -hmm. um, I think 
there is one thing that we can all agree mm -hmm. that the music scene, the music industry in Kenya is uh, transforming. Yes. It is growing in, in a very big way mm -hmm. and things are changing. The kind of music that we used to have maybe in the 90s, in the early 2000s, is not the same music that we have in right now. Yeah. Things have changed and largely so into into uh, an industry where people are not looking for values but for the entertainment part of it. When music is entertaining in mm -hmm. its own self, yeah. but we have taken entertainment quite overboard. So you find that people in the search of entertainment, yes. they bring in uh, sensuality. And if, if you talk about love songs, for example, in, in the secular aspect, and uh, how people understand love is not the same way that it's not the same way that God uh, made love to be understood. Yes. So people understand love as the the, the sensuality and and the sexual engagements. And so you find the music that we call love songs is is quite out of place because they, they don't provocate the love again. Exactly. They don't propagate love. They propagate the. The, the physical appearance of someone uh -huh. and how attractive they look and how attracted they are to that to, to that to that person and so that is what they think is, is uh, the, which means they've gone sexual we are now from the outward we we are now getting into it exactly and you know just to think of these uh, you know I've been thinking and thinking about this music and it, this just came to me like you know Kitambo used to sing uh, like there was a song that was in my mind Alienda America Akarudi Stella you know yeah. like yeah. if you follow these songs now Imefika right now to Koejenye now they are on the sexual part of exactly. it now maybe in some few years now tutakuwa tumefika songs za watoto kuzaliwa because right now everything is is sex is in everything is sex it's a trap that the devil is using i think that is where now the youths are wameshikwa sana because it's all about sex it's all about drugs like uh and don't a carefree life a carefree life the, what, what you said last week it's uh, being without what they don't have to be morally morally account accountability that is morally so in this case now the government tries to to regulate i don't know how you like us as christians now we view and uh, regulate on how we are supposed to to pull off maybe some of the songs maybe sir you know uh -huh. it's funny because sir, at one point mm -hmm. we as christians would allow to these songs yeah willingly all, all right. most of the most of the time it is unwillingly, unwillingly. like uh, you just talk into a matatu from maybe nairobi to mm -hmm. Kika, and then they have this big because mm -hmm. and then it's gengeto and it's it's a lot of okay for me god it's a it's a lot of nonsense what these kids do yeah you don't because, even listen to what they say yeah because these people <laughs> most of them they are promoting immorality yeah. like uh, and then you know they are using this okay shame uh -huh. and you know if you listen to the, some of these words and you really sit down and inter internalize what these what guys are people saying, are talking about wow it'd be like Oh, I wish what to what or since you are to talk and what these people are saying. Mm -hmm. You know, in in some sense, they are using the shame because most of these old people they don't they really don't get understand, to understand yeah. what they are trying to mean. But for a youth like me, when I really now sit down and maybe I know what this thing means, mm -hmm. I think the music industry it's 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 a it's a point of concern. It's an area of concern where even the government should be should be really much concerned because in one way or the other, mm -hmm. these songs they are. These songs they are promoting a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. There is a certain song that was banned by this some years ago. It was promoting violence against women. Uh -huh. So it was called I think Takataka. Taka. So like you, you find come on say mtoto akisikiliza such kind of a song he will be like okay. So simba ya kumonolize or simba ya kumonolize or nawake I can do what I want with the female gender. Mm -hmm. So it's I really support what the government is doing. It's mm -hmm. good to ban these songs. And I think there are some when you are going to you know I think I think the guys who are there pia when you wana wako board ni watu wa elewi sheng unaona 
So, so the, yeah. you, the lyrics passes them without even understanding what they mean by eh? packaging, 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 packagewa. <laughs> <laughs> but if we talk of this thing and say that they are sheng, yeah. then it is wrong. These are words that people, they, they, they formulate them, you see. So I think it is just a way of understanding that people don't understand. Yeah. That is what I can say. Exactly. And then I think that is a, there is a lot that to do. the people maybe in charge of the music industry, they have to. Because mm -hmm. we have really to guard the generation of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If we don't, you know, like right now, a kid monyako three years old, a mata monyana grow, mm -hmm. ata grow a kijua the shen. Yeah, you know, yeah. if she he or she grows up knowing the shen, mm -hmm. he will grow even now understanding the message of this time. Now, come up, let's see to keep grow like now the kind of songs we had, Mizo Zakina Stella Wango, yeah. those things. And you know, it's just a message of someone who is at broken, of which there is no, akuna a lot of immorality, ama a lot of. Is there a lot of controversial information in that song? Like now, imagine now, like my kid growing up now singing the kid, like my friend. Like <laughs> what? Is in what kind of a kid you like is <laughs> And you know now, uh, this brings in the concept of you know, in some few years to come, yeah. we will not have the the lyrics. You know, kitambo tunge imba embe dodo embe imelala mchangani wa hubana mazoya uwe wangu wa milele. Yani, it's something we are understanding. Yeah. But now, in the coming years now, even the words that are there, yes, yes. We, we, we don't even understand what, 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 what they mean. Yeah. Now, how are we now going to, to try and regulate these things so that mtu mwenye anaimba, like, aimbe kitu yenye, you can write it down and explain. Uh, the, you know, music is art. It is an art. And uh -huh. You are free to use... Uh, to choose words mm -hmm. and to use lyrics and to use um, the, the, any, any, any kind of creativity uh -huh. to just make uh, the song as attractive as it, as can, it be. can be. And so uh, when someone uses Sheng, mm -hmm. well, Sheng is a language that, that has come up in, in recent years. In yeah. And, and it's gaining a lot of. Uh, it is, it is called Pijini. Exactly. In Kiswahili, let me just cut you short and explain maybe to our viewers. Uh, Sheng ni Pijini, na Pijini ni Luga ya Mjini, na Pijini ni Kirioli ilio koma, Kiswahili. <laughs> I was not bad of in Kiswahili. You can continue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Pijini ni Luga ya Mjini, inayo zaliwa baina ya watu ambao wamepatana wakazungumza. Ivo Sheng ni Luga inayo zaliwa Mjini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Sheng, as, uh -huh. as Bona Charles has said, mm -hmm. it's a language that is coming up so strongly. Yes. And many of us, the, the youth, we mm -hmm. are taking it up and using it in our conversations, mm -hmm. in, in our music, yeah. as it were. Uh, but the big question is, uh, in, the, in the course of using that language, mm -hmm. are we communicating credible message? Yes. Are we communicating things that are values we have held and practiced in society mm -hmm. uh, and, and the question of the government regulating music in kenya that is a good step because at the same time we don't want to expose our children and the young yeah. ones to 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 create an, an image of sensuality and and illicit sex in them at very young ages and so the government comes in through the communications yeah. authority yes to to just uh, cap on the kind of music that can be released to the public. And that's a good step. I support it, as Sarah has said. Uh, we should really be on the lookout mm -hmm. to make sure that, well, we cannot control the entire music industry. Yes. But at least we can do something to ensure that what people are receiving is not uh, morally depraved. Now, twerking. Maybe to add on yeah, add before okay. we come to I, twerking. I, I, said, I said something about uh, we cannot control actually mm -hmm. what we listen to. Yeah. And that's why, for maybe for me, most of the time when I'm in those matatus, I'm always on my earphones. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, someone said, you become what you listen to. Mm -hmm. So, if, and that's all about Angalek. When I hear that, that and you know, they, are, they have some, some wonderful beats, like they do, do, do beats. Yeah. So you find yourself doing this. And you know, as in it's something that you're doing even sometimes without knowing. So as Christians, I think you can come up with a way that you can counterfeit that. Like, because at the end of the day, those lyrics get stuck on your mind. And that's what Unapatanga, sometimes there is something singing in your mind now. You don't know. Not even you don't know where you had it. It's so it's let's devise a way to deal with secular music. Because it is eating up our Christian life. Now, 
I, I just it just came to my mind and uh, if you see all these sensual music and everything there is a lot of twerking and the ladies who twerk there they, 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 they are is it half naked or close to naked the remaining is the quarter to naked <laughs> now how how to me I think okay as a Christian I think just twerking in any movie should be banned Okay, I don't know. I don't know your perspective, but what do you think? What do you think? Because somebody looking on the other side, she doesn't want us to see her face. She only shows us uh, nini. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what is your take about this? I think this should even go to the government. Any song that people are talking should just be cancelled. Okay, you know Maybe as talking, a country. Uh huh. Talking is okay. It's a, It's a, It's something like we imported. If you if you look at the origin of where that dance style came from, it's from Jamaica, and in Jamaica I think it's a legalized dance style. Like. Oh. But now when it comes to Kenya, you know Kenya by the way we are we are a funny country. We just imitate everything we see on the media mm. by the way. But for me I think it's it's morally it's morally bad because most of like if Kanzo meona come at the gengeton style, uh -huh. those people they are totally naked. They are totally out of their mind. Actually they are insane. That's what I can say. No, there is there is still some talking that in Kitambo it used to be like it could, at least it could have some sense Regulation. of it could have some sense of uh, what are you moral 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 uh, moral understanding yeah, moral, as in yeah. Kona, at least it could have double yes I what actually <laughs> Kona, there is another one I don't know Sijui Kwa Sima Sijui Wainame I don't know mm. when you just look at that video my friend you just need down and to pray for this beautiful generation. Kwanza girl child and a tour, we buy a big buyer, son. Steve. To add on that, mm -hmm. uh, the, the entire thing of talking, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing that has come to us from media, mm -hmm. that we have uh, a media and, and music genres that we have borrowed from yes. Western countries, especially. And so, this is a thing that is allowed mm -hmm. in those countries. It's a thing that is so popular and so... Um, outspoken in their music mm -hmm. and so because we want to make our music international yes. as, as it were so we bring on these things okay to okay on your yani okay what you're trying to say is for them to to watch it from the countries that accept this twerking exactly. you now have to incorporate twerking in your sing, in your song you you create nationally or internationally, internationally. But still, the language But but I think you know there are songs that even you see the point here is not the the language the it's the view. the view you see that view of someone talking there that is what like what they want to see the rest you can you can even create your song out of the same song yeah. as you sing along you know it's, I think uh, people see when, when these songs are released mm -hmm. they have uh, high viewing so this is what people want and so they are encouraging the, the, the artists to produce it the more because that is what people want mm -hmm. and, and if people want it, mm -hmm. we give it to them and as far as the government does not come in or there are no regulations set to govern the, the kind of videos that should be released on music, yeah. it, it continues to be there because uh, the Kenyan youth has accepted that this is what we want, this is what we want to consume. Mm -hmm. And so the artists find a, a, a ready market in our Kenyan um, yeah, music industry. Yeah, kitu inaachiliwa tu and, and to the next consume. minute yeah, umeona ya nani? Uh -huh. Umeona ngoma ya msefulani? Yeah. 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 Imekula? We are just after money, mm -hmm. fame, that's what I can say. But for me, I think if the yes. government, by the way, steps in to regulate maybe the kind of, uh, the kind of those even dancing style. Yes. Because you can get a generation. You know, I've told you our kids mm -hmm. what are grow work on this kind of stuff. And so if you don't like bring this kid like now according to it. But at all when you know to engine at okay, the people who come from Christian families, yes. they are actually the one who are doing the worst things outside here. So it's just a matter of even as Christian now, even now. Going to our knees, praying for this generation. Yes. And also praying to God that maybe the government can intervene to do something. Okay, I think, I think we are going to take a break as we even highlight on this. I uh, remember you are watching Reborn, a Christian show that we just tried to talk about 
as Christians and maybe the world and how we are going to relate to the world and even talk about things that are going to make us uh, uplift our spiritual life. And today we are talking about secular music and how is secular more secular? How is something secular? How, we, how are we going to categorize this as being more secular? This one is secular, this is religious, and how is it going to affect us as Christians, and how are we going to regulate them? Remember, you're watching Reborn. It's a Christian movie. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Talanta Institute. Instagram at Talanta underscore Institute. We are taking a break. Don't go away. Records. We are masters in video and music recording, voiceovers, radio and TV jingles, advertisements, movie soundtracks, announcements, radio shows, drama, spoken word, poetry, and any other audio and video related pieces of work. Visit our studios on 9th floor Ambang House or call us on 0734 777 or 0710 We unveil champions. Mi Santo Ningatia Nambura. I'm a film editor, I'm a music editor, documentary editor, and also I do color grading. And uh, that's my profession. So my experience at Atlanta, I got to meet uh, so many people. The, back, back then it was called Prince Kam Institute when I started. So uh, I can say Ilianville Champions, Ilkwandaniang, Ilianville, the desire. My desire was to become a Somebody when a film, somebody when a co-editor. Actually, I was desiring to be in front of the TV, Palembele, because but you can't speak. So I wanted to know the other one is Then and you know, you Atlanta, and uh, it was uh, an experience I can never forget, because after I was given the brochure, I was given the brochure, then uh, I became who I am today. When I was in Prince Camp, uh, I got to meet uh, my former employer, who is Samidi, who has directed a lot of music video, who has directed a lot of uh, documentaries also. So when I met him, then we started working together. Back then, I, I started working as a light technician. Then I, I developed to be an editor. And from there, I became an editor. I edited music such like uh, Willie Paul for people like Size 8, for people like Daddy Owen. I have edited a lot of music yeah, and a lot of documentaries also. When I was studying, I got to meet a lot of directors, like The Blessing. I met, all, I met a lot of other artists. My practicals, I experienced live practicals because directors were coming there. Now, now when you want to find your lighting, zao, then you learn from them. When you want to shoot, then you learn. Even if you want to shoot, you learn. This is this is how it's edited. So, at Talanta, see practical too. But when you want to peer, you learn lively from all of us. When you want to come, my directors want to come up. When you're ready, you go, you go ground. Peer, you go Prince Cam. I got a lot of mentorship. When I was say, I go to media ready. Who who will you want to come to mentor? I think I got like somebody like Johnson Mokazi. And uh, we got a chance to go to GBS, which is a, a, a bigger company, which has all the equipment that we need in this industry. And uh, we also got a, a chance to go to KBC, to Kajifunza Venye Industry in a function, to Kajifunza Venye Radio P in a function, to Kajifunza Venye PSTV in a function. I think Prince Cam will be a peer relationship with our si already or co industry. When I was in uh, Prince Cam, back then is when I met Samidi. Nikona, back then the company was called Clean City Media. Nikona Vitonafanya and ad, I admired the creativity that was in him. And you saw Nika Nikakua so aggressive and Takaku kuona nini anafanyanga. Nikakua so passionate about Kenafanya Pia. So that's when I decided ni more approach, Nikamambia Nikambia I want to work for you. Ndiyo, sasa I can put your job, but it was not like an editor. A joke so much, still, you know, you can have passion, you can have desire, you can have a but passion to take a drive up. Now, Pia, you give up, I don't keep a job, you're lighting, no more, you're grading. So back then, I can put your job, you're lighting. Nikaza kum, 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 light here. Setting Zaki, I took a financial show, come here, it was for shopper. I was the, I was a lighting technician there, but me, I was editing, and I was a videographer. This is a bigger director. This is a bigger production. 
so nataka kujia touch nayo ndione ndione passion, passion yako because actually passion ina, inafanya mtu aku, 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 aku chore job passion inafanya mtu aku, akuandike because if you are not passionate about what you are doing inakuwa so hard mtu ku employ so ni kama sio passionate yangu hata nikifanya lighting bado naenda pale naona fanye this editor is doing his work then back then the editor is called uh, robert so nikafanya editing then nakaona what i can do also in editing napo nipo nikapata job yangu the future of talenta is very bright i can say the future is very bright talenta has unveiled a lot of champions a lot of people like i remember there is also this guy director this is a bigger director of music video called wb wb was my classmate you see and uh, talenta has, has really unveiled a lot of champions the reason why you should join talenta first is because you are able to meet other people who are ready in the industry second is because uh, the equipment here they are really good get equipment that are already used in the industry right now you, the upgraded equipment that like i can say the teachers who are here i can say like edwin is a very good trainer so yeah that's why i can i can recommend any youth who is outside there who is desiring to be in media to join talanta institute what i want to see in future is uh, to see my name appear in the best film the best documentary the one of the biggest music video you'll ever see that's my desire why i would encourage uh, young people to join uh, media is because uh, media is uh, like the future of our country because uh, nowadays we have content creation people like uh, desagu people like uh, joyce minor what they are doing uh, in uh, digital it's very it's very brilliant so i would encourage any young person who is uh, who is coming out of uh, school to join the media industry my name is anthony ngata nyambura i'm an editor a colorist and uh, a champion i would urge you to join the league of champions unveil your champion creative who enjoys what they do because I am able to bring my ideas to life every moment and on every project that I do. Why I've excelled at what I do along the way is because other than the training that I have received, it leverages upon my talent and to me talent is that natural ability of what you can do with the least effort. Therefore, when you find an institute the Atlanta Institute which is doing the practical training and leveraging upon the talents of each of their students i believe that's how champions are made that is why talanta institute is at the forefront of unveiling champions hi guys my name is immaculate jacobin i'm a photographer a director and a content producer. Guess what? All this was nurtured at Talanta Institute. At Talanta Institute, you get to learn, interact, network with your favorite celebs. You get to go and meet other people. You go for exhibitions such as BFMA. I went for Canon Street Photography and I did so well. And at some point, I didn't. I wasn't able to pay my fees but whatever they saw in me they decided to sponsor me guys don't you ever look down upon yourself guess what no matter you come from, no matter where you come from your dreams are still valid you should be here at Talanta Institute unveiling champions Welcome back, it's Reborn, and we are talking about music and secular music. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Talanta Institute, and IG at Talanta underscore Institute. And today we are talking about music. Now, we are at a point where now we want to talk about the gospel artists. You know, how they dress, how they influence others. Like, squeeze unapata vijana wa na jiva, kulingana na You know, vijana wa squeeze. If a gospel artist or maybe a secular artist, a songeshe trolls are 
the next unapata wa jamaa kwa town hivyo hivyo now what is your advice to to to, to, to these guys how, how are we going to now help on this music is ni influential sana uh-huh. eh, ukiangalia kama songs zenye zinakwanga maju like a place like america i think america is has one of the largest music industries mm-hmm. in, in the world mm-hmm. and music is so influential mm-hmm. such that kuna wase wata wata absorb things that they see in music and wazifanye zikuwe lifestyle yao unaona kuna kuna msali alikuwa anasema at the guys who listen to country music yes. so much uh, in a kwa in our influence and in that region kulikuanga na high chances high cases of uh, suicide ju oh. walikuwa na consume country music so much so hizo songs zenye walikuwa nasikiliza zilikuwa zina wa influence in a very big way hadi wana commit suicide wana commit suicide and it's the same thing for us in Kenya unapata how a certain musician uh, does their 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 songs una assume the same kind of mm-hmm. language how they dress when they are on on tv mm-hmm. in, the, in the media it's the same way tuna tuna adopt kama youth so inakuwa mu- music through the media is so influential even to us and, and to everyone else who consumes music and so uh, it is a thing that is affecting us all of us including ourselves mm-hmm. um, because music ha- brings about dressing it brings about language very many things that uh, are concerned uh, that concern us in the society the dancing style the dancing style unajiona inferior yeah? you see kama ujui hizi za mambo unajiona hauna form sio hizi unajiona hauna form hauna form na na unaona kitu kama hizo ndio unapata like church squeezy hata ku dance odi no, no. dancing and odi dance in church is correct but you know i think uh-huh. so as christians mm-hmm. kuna vile nyenye tume tumefanya church kakali kama it's, it's a place just to come and as in the church aina the real meaning it used yeah, to be yeah. because you have brought a lot of security mm-hmm. in church in a kind of night club yeah, in a kind yeah, to anyway i know it's uko. good to have fun in, in god but kuna fan nyingine yenye inafanywa church yenyewe yenye haifai because you find that we go and imitate some of these dance styles of which some of them have meaning like there is this kind this certain dance style you know na dance ni kwa hiyo i don't know it's picketing you know that dance style according to them it has a meaning yeah yeah so you do your hand this way it has a meaning true yeah, true but yeah, i'm dancing like ba yeah. ba umejua kunifurahisha and then i'm dancing uh, you are you are using the same like, style there is there is a big question there to be fair, like what we are doing is it's it's not good so i think it, it's time for churches it's time for christians the, the christians we themselves should draw the, we should draw the line, the line between secularism and, and christianity la, la, because i feel most of us we are going mm. to miss the mark just because of some simple mistakes and just to add something mm-hmm. little about kuleta dance styles mm-hmm. ama kuleta the style of music in mm-hmm. the world into the church utapata squeezy church imekuwa ni kama there, there is no so much difference between secular music concerts mm-hmm. and and what we do in church mm-hmm. uh, because we think that wase wase ufikiria unaweza jibamba as long as uko church unaona mm-hmm. so unaweza jibamba na vitu zenye ziko kwa world as long as uko ndani ya kanisa which is a wrong which is a completely wrong wrong attitude oh, yeah. because the bible asks us what relationship do you have with um, how should why should we be yoked with with unbelievers unaona mm-hmm. like creating an enmity with the world is creating a mm-hmm. uh, creating friendship with the world rather ni ku create enmity with god and so there should be that that line that if you get into a church and you go through their music service or when they are doing their praise and worship there should be a big difference between that and what you will get wakati umeingia club ama wakati umeingia concert yote tu yenye si christian there should be that difference such that we are not copying things from the world and trying, to, trying make to make them make look them christian, christian. Yeah. And then you know sometimes that's why when it comes maybe to the type of churches I really admire the conservative churches the Kenya AC these old churches 
But then when I say you don't just go there and do some dance style, first I talk about a stop. But you know, because of these churches, zingine zenye zinakuja sayo, you na feel like we need to embrace the youth because I can embrace what are left. left. If it's left, in let them left. But doing the wrong thing in the house of the Lord, it's not good. It's, it's not good. So you mean according to you, yeah. kama wanakuja na kuna dance? Okay, of course the youth will always want to yeah. like, to express in, themselves. Yeah, and that, that then that would be the reason. Like imagine if I mm. go to church because na jua kuna kuanga na dance screen, kina kuna kuanga juu sana. So you know, when you can up, I'm going there because of the dance. The dance. So You're not the going there to praise God. What well, what if? Who quest kumoja the dance crew is no, it's no longer there. You know, go to church. So I think we are giving the youth the wrong the wrong view about the church. The wrong motive, yeah, the wrong they, reason for them being in church. Come say na kujia kujibamba. Then yeah. wakati ume draw away yo kujibamba. Kujibamba yeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remain empty. You now draw yeah. the person empty. And that's why come home and notice time uh-huh. your worship. So many people just stand kama umti tu. Mtu wa mesimama tu. But let's go to your time when you're too big. Zai, me kwa nte me present worship. As now it's time your praise. Ding 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 You know, okay, I know it maybe it might be a way of reaching out to people but, but at the at the end of the day but you see there's a, there's a question there hmm. what made this bit to be na nani alisema nani nani alikaa chini akasema hii bit ni ya the secular you see that, that's where they, there is also a problem kwa yeah, sababu huh? there are so many controversies in now to see the bit was actually the bit, the bit. Like, Yeah. Okay, can the church instruments produce the same beats? They can produce the same beats. Yeah, then what makes it to look no, like the, the question is, is uh, the question is is it beats originally zilikuwa za secular music, no, no. So for example, stuff like reggae, the, the origin of reggae is Jamaica, uh-huh. Like the beats, the lyrics, the the lifestyle of reggae artists and everything about reggae it's near rastafarianism no mm-hmm. and it's not something that is rastafarianism na bangi exactly <laughs> bang rastafarianism <laughs> yeah they, they are one but we have rastafarians when you smoke but and then, and it's not a must that you can smoke yeah but okay we are just trying to align to ourselves look at into their that music, line their music yeah. uh-huh. so like the origin ya uh, reggae mm-hmm. and the beats in in reggae mm-hmm. it's that whole thing about rastafarianism and so When we draw that and we bring it into gospel music uh-huh. that is copying what the world does and that's what the bible goes against in Romans 12 Paul says do not be uh, do not conform to the patterns of this world uh-huh. that's a pattern of the world in music and we are conforming to it we are bringing na letter hiyo pattern and and we are making it look christian which is wrong the other thing when like the origin of hip hop stuff like hip hop It's in the US, right? Mm-hmm. And there is how they do their songs. Kuna venye they vary their beats and all that. Mm-hmm. So if we draw that una copy the exact beat ya yeah, a secular song you and then una zileta the you now bring in uh, gospel lyrics. You are copying the world, una copy pattern ya world but unataka ukifanya ika Christian which is not so which, which not means really in these things uh-huh. I think by the way as the gospel artist they are they have been, have been wamekua, wamepotea sana mm-hmm. because ukiangalia most of them no actually like so you know as christians we are called to be the light of the world yeah. Yeah. so what we expect ni maybe the secular music the secular musicians what are motivated by the gospel artists they change maybe their kind of way to to christ to, exactly. but it's the other way gospel artists wanaenda wana they are copying even that even they are dress code by the way kuna wengine mm-hmm. unapata mse vile ame dress I don't think it's appropriate as a Christian. Napata mse tu anaimba lakini amevaa tu kichoza ni so ragged like unapatana difference na mse mwenye anafanya secular music. Secular music. Yeah. So I think we as Christians we have to make use our track and uh, in the sense of we are doing a band a band gospel. Now in that context yeah. when he fanya nikumbuke kitu like now you sing you singing a secular song. Yeah and just revolve around uh, there is a musician who did a very nice song a christian song mm-hmm. but alikuwa anaimba secular akaimba a christian song tukai praise nini nini hata inaimbwa kwa church mm-hmm. uh, juzi nimeona ameshikana na maboys magengeton wanaimba zingine huko now how how now are we going to draw a line there like 
Mse kama huyo sasa tunamchukulia tuna, tuna is, is that person a Christian is in the world ama ameimba ngoma ili wa Kristo watumie Personally for me by the way was frustrated when she did the when now she did the, the other collab with now the boys yeah. so I thought like why <laughs> finally she's coming to God and by the way she did a very awesome song that song was very much awesome mm-hmm. so those people by the way you know when I was saying that it was very tricky to say that because sasa mhm vile ali imba now the gospel in real sense ikona it has a lot of message yeah but now the other thing after now the gospel even the dress code has changed in the gospel she was appropriate to dress uh-huh. you know, i for me i really don't know how i can <laughs> for me i really don't know how i can you see that is where now the problem comes in kwa sababu unakuja unajiuliza mm. ameimba ngoma poa is this person a christian ameimba ingine huko amerudi kwa secular. Si sasa sa Christianity hapo ndio mimi unishangaza. How how, how are we going are we supposed to listen to your wimbo yake? Eh are we supposed yeah. like, like now yeah let me just put it that way. Are we supposed to listen to ngoma yake because the person who sang the song mm-hmm. is now singing yes, secular. secular music. Answer, you think mm-hmm. when I said about Christian music mm-hmm. it's any kind of music that glorifies God. If the music then it's glorifying God then we listen. Then we listen. And But, also keep on praying for this person maybe to get like kama alipata ndio like yo because I'm so sure before she did that song and mm, kachini akafikiria maybe there was something that prompted her to do such kind of a message yes, we continue praying for her maybe at one point like this call will be so definite like this is what God wants you to do anataka waachane na hizi magenge ton kushikana na vijana wenye mambo yetu ni vijana wa miadarati kitu kama hiyo and and also to add on that uh-huh. Uh, the bible says in psalms that what uh, everything that has breath let it praise the lord and everything that everything not everyone so mm-hmm. like praising god it's everything any anyone can do praise a praise song because you are not limited yes no true one. so that's why you will find msemo uh, nye normally anafanya songs zenye ni secular uh-huh. atafanya song yenye tunaweza regard kama gospel because there is no restriction god says let anything everything that has breath praise the lord but the question is uh, you can you can praise god mm-hmm. but you do not know god exactly no, no. see there's a difference between ku praise na ku worship no, no. Do in in the book of john john chapter 4 the bible says that time imefika yenye god anatafuta wasi watamworship in truth and in spirit and worshiping in truth that means you have to worship in jesus christ because yes. jesus christ says that and you the truth the way and the light and no one goes to the father except through jesus so if you have to worship through music you must worship in jesus christ so you must know jesus christ for you to worship him but kwa praise mse mse yote tu anaweza tengeneza song na praise god yeah Ju, god is worth of praise yeah. by everything and everything that kumsifu yeah, yeah kumsifu mm-hmm. now the, the question is secular musicians i mean gospel artists wa Kenya wakifanya collab na wasi wenye wanafanya nga secular music mm-hmm. you know? and we can still call it it's contemporary music it's not gospel music as such because our say in the first place they are they do not know their line the rg boundary they okay. are borrowing skill they are borrowing art they are borrowing almost everything from the secular world you the the gospel ministry in kenya it's no longer a ministry mm. imekuwa ni industry mm-hmm. so people want to get money wasi wanataka kuwa rich so you yeye ki sell kama a brand akiwa independent akiwa gospel artist mm-hmm. wase hata mchangamkia yeah. yeah so anatafuta msemo mwenye ni secular msemo mwenye anajulikana na msemo mwenye wase wase wameshamkubali wanafanya collab na yeye ndio ngoma yake isel sio sio really ju anataka ku, ku, ku bring out the message lakini the real sense anataka tu ngoma yake isel no so in, in 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 simple terms you're trying to say that if it yote inafanywa kwa sababu tu ya fame fame g- the money greed the last the of the greed. flesh the pride of life you are not after praising and, and, and worshiping and god and also something else uh-huh. it's like we christian pia tumeluzile identity yetu in christ in christ uh-huh. you know if like i know i'm in christ and then this verse i can do all things through him who strengthens me if really god has given me the talent to sing mm. it doesn't matter like how many years that i will take ndio ni kwa 
mkulima aspale kwa ile industry the people by the way were doing some good music the kinds of kinali misjeri and those people they are drawing a lot of traffic to their to their to their own music yeah. industry without even doing collabs with this yeah, weird that's, weird that's mm-hmm. true. so that's the true. thing is sometimes me I tend to think some gospel artists mm-hmm. uh, una shake shake how you can do kama mtu aliitwa na mungu <laughs> or the call from so god really because to do I that to do that kind of thing established by god it mm-hmm. will always last at yeah. utaka mahali ufikati umse ameshwa na material sana anaweza kutafuta tie watu kama kina kinga cut ndio wa boost tena rudi kwa industry that will not happen if someone is really rooted in christ if someone really knows like kama umse agent and find a link in christ yes. so if being also this most of these gospel artists the urban gospel artists yes. most of them their salvation work is questionable let me say that That's which true. means wao wanaimba tu wanaimba for the sake of for the sake of kuimba alafu pia maybe wanaimba ndio but see i'm not doing secular I'm just mission in god yeah. so kila mtu ana ni kama mimi ni ama yeah. christian uh-huh. of which at most, most of them ukisikiliza ukisikiliza hiyo hiyo like hiyo uh, most ni kama kuna hiyo song at a many patterns ya, ya pili kama mitumba mm. i'm like The Bible refers to you are God. How do you compare yourself with me to the second and second? Oh, I listen to that so I think I mean ni pachanzi hapa ni kama mitumba. Eh, mitumba. Inaka weird. Like the yeah, Bible God the even way. himself tells me I'm a small God. And then I refer myself to a mitumba man. It makes sense. At a sometime ukiangalia content ya the most abandoned gospel artists So we better go back to the rural. The rural. <laughs> no, you know, not not like rural. rural. Actually, yeah, the choir. Like, yeah. Other by the way, come on like what our they are not even up to the standards. We are back to wings. Because they s- they, they sing the reality. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Ni Mungu wangu huyo. Yeah. Like the, the, the issue is <laughs> like uh, ku, like come when you say hymns uh-huh. ni nyimbo like zilimbwa a long time ago mm-hmm. and they have lived through time mm-hmm. and they have the bible they have message biblical message as yes. it is in scripture mm-hmm. but these songs in yetnaimba ni mse mm-hmm. anataka ku view god in carnal eyes yes no no so like jesus is a carpenter come on jesus was not a carpenter and the fact that his father was a carpenter jesus was god as much as he was man he was, he was god. god fully yeah. so like you interpret god amo you interpret faith in carnal in, in a carnal way Uta, uta create music yenye you are referring to god yes but the words that you're using to refer to god they are really questionable so, they are really questionable just so, to, just to cut you short so you are trying to say that before even these guys releases a song and says that it is a it is a gospel song we should first analyze what is the content of this exactly. Exactly. because if exactly. you mention god and the accompanying thing is not related to god yeah. ameni patanzi ya pili kama mtumba so we should now put that into some, questioning to some, to some yeah? extent like this person is maybe now trying to bring out the forgiving nature of god yes. which god gives everyone the second chance yes. but i don't think like the mitumba was the right the right term to put in word, place a better, a better word would have come in yourself to mitumba and yet the bible already calls you a small god god you know god is someone who is now it also comes into an aspect that kanisa pia mm iangalie ngoma yenye wanaweka wanaita gospel ndio wasiimbe tu anything that yenyewe yenye umenikumbusha hiyo mitumba so, mitumba ga yeah, and, that's, <laughs> and that's okay angalia uh. also there are some by the there are some churches which are so so by the way uh-huh. the kind of music that they listen to yeah. so i think it's good to filter even i think it's good to filter mm-hmm. the kind of music even the church like yes ju unajua kuna ile kuna song naweza sikia kanisa hii niende niseme eh hii song ilichezwa kanisa kwa hivyo si mbaya kusikiliza you know like we have that mentality yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. that happens in church, church is not is the which best. is not it's good. absolutely yes. right it's good so mse mwenye ajaokoka vizuri akuja asikie song asikie tu song like kwa sababu alikuja wakada song fulani anaenda na gemishta yangu is case song ikichezwa church so this is not a bad music too and then you know as christians there are people outside there who are looking up to us so msa kinyo na leo nimevas cut short anajua yeah. ah, si, si simba ya kuba cut short jum sia ko cha mtu akikuja church akisikia certain kind of music, music. inachezwa church ataenda tuna hiyo mentality ya it's not bad to listen to this kind of music so i think it's same also some christian Christian unions churches will be sober to the kind of music even that now we we now we address it to the audience of the now 
in that context mm -hmm. and the Christianity and the CEUs and all this, yeah. we always have dance dome. Exactly. Now, utapata kwamba dance dome, wametengeneza there. We call it, what do you call that? Your song in your America, a, a lot of uh, choreographed. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, yeah. you come in your choreography. Choreography, yeah. Ni yeah. choreography, yeah. 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 Like, ding, di, di, so you get that most of these short short songs mm -hmm. are beats from the secular world exactly. and then they you you know isikia kitu kama hicho yeah. 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 then Na, they like wanachukua kama like inaitwa nini beat ya kwanza song secular eh yeah, kwanza before words yanze the they put a christian song yeah. and then wanaweka beat nyingine ku mix mix yeah. now how is that now in terms of christianity and maybe how do you view that wenye tu tumesema uh -huh. you know there should be a difference between Christian music uh -huh. na secular music. Like, kama unafanya, una, una dance church, mm -hmm. let your song in your dance iku any song in a praise God. Not, not like any song that you think of, and you think it has a good message, alafu unaileta church. Ata uki dance, unafa ku dance, song yenye, ita, ita please God. The Bible challenges us. Kila kitu tunafanya, we do it for the glory of God. Not to to take pride in ourselves sio kujibamba but to really praise god so adu kifanya hizo mix za kufanya choreography uh -huh. inafaa kuwa the the beats that you are using the songs that you are mm -hmm. uh, unaeka kwa hiyo mix zinafaa kuwa songs that are upright in doctrine and songs that really praise god si songs tu yoyote ama unachukua beat yoyote alafu unaeka kwa song unafikiria in, in, in as long as unaicheza church ni nzuri kukuwa kitu kufanyika church si kusema ati ni nzuri you must always weigh you must always check uh, you must always check si ati jum wacha wanafanya vitu kwa church ati tunazichukua zikiwa yeah. the absolute truth and the absolute right thing to be done sara you burning with something <laughs> ama sipi exactly. yeah. yeah okay for me i measure na bible verse that is philippians 4:8 it says uh -huh. whatever is true whatever is noble whatever mm. is pure whatever is admirable yes. think of such things so I was, I was reading this uh, it's a manuscript by someone mm -hmm. alikuwa anaweza this kind of ibula nikika chini nianze kusikiliza package uh -huh. is it true is it admirable is it noble mm -hmm. is it pure then if it's if then it, it is not it is not then why am i am i listening to it so those are things that we should ask ourselves as christian whatever i'm letting my ears whatever i'm letting to go through my ears is it true is it noble does it glorify god yeah. as in does it even promote immorality does it promote sin then if it is promoting all those stuff then why are you listening to it so just make sure that you do need to a test like before yeah, you yeah. listen to that kind of a song question it yeah pray for just it just analyze it analyze you can it. do some simple analysis of what you're listening to because someone said whatever you listen you become so exactly. if I continue listening a lot of the packaging, at yeah, the end of the day, a packaging. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, will, you will become, you become a packaging. Exactly. Yeah, maybe at the end of the day, uh. I maybe like to try, maybe what is this packaging? And you know, maybe I know I say it's packaging. Maybe I don't know the meaning of this yeah, packaging. You. Maybe now I'll be more interested and I go like, not you, you. Your packaging. then I thought this is the meaning. Yeah. Then because of the, the interest that I'm, I'm listening to these things so many times, at the end of the day, I might end up trying what it is, I'm doing what it is. So, guys, let's watch what you listen to, because what you listen to, you become. I think that's true. Um, now, uh, you know, there's somebody who told me that uh, these days, twerking is a, is a job. You yeah. know? It's, it's dancing is a job. Dancing is a, a job. job. And people do it because they are going to get money out, of, get it. out of it. Like, yeah. if you <coughs> now, you're in that song, the person, the artist has paid you to come and do this. I, then I think the guys who are doing this are the ones who are, we should like pray for them, the youths, the ladies in that matter, who go quarter naked, because they have, past Kitambo ilikuwa, ilikuwa half. Tuseme tu kweli, Kitambo ilikuwa <laughs> half naked. Sai sasa imefika quarter naked. So next, next few years. Naked. So in some few years, it will be worse. And yeah. this there is an artist by the way who, who went I overboard and uh, I can try the, the song he were down from from yeah, from, media from, scenes. Yeah, from media yeah. scenes so I think um, before we like take take a break uh, the Bible tells us that um, we enjoy our youthful 
that is in ecclesiastes inatuambia to enjoy to enjoy hiyo youthful youthful days youthful days sasa sijui youthful ku enjoy na tuna tuna kuna mtu kama nani ali dance hadi nguo zikaisha sasa sisi tunafaa ku dance unajua that things gives me problems how am i supposed to dance hadi nguo zitoke ama that was the old test that, that what was, is that, that no. was something that david some, did and then also some bible that's uh-huh. bullying some bible message okay i think some to some way to use some symbolic symbolic, symbolic, like symbolic language, language. Yeah. just to show maybe how david was really into god sio ku dance ku dance okay, really. alikuwa na dance too ngoma yote <laughs> yeah and then okay, uh-huh. it, yeah it was okay for me i think it was symbolic and then i'll come into your point of enjoying life mm-hmm. you know as we said last sunday people think that christianity is boring mm-hmm. and that's now where the issue is so za kanisa zenye tunaimbanga pole pole like unaimba umesimama you cannot even uh, and then they chokoza the sda sometimes yeah. but seriously Even the Bible now like okay so my the book of Ecclesiastes okay Ecclesiastes yeah yeah the defense of the the preacher yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah so the preacher when mm-hmm. you read the book of the preacher he, he now explains life in his real sense mm-hmm. and up and like how how is it to be wealthy how is it to be young and even the whole of chapter 12 and is like the consequences of being poor And that's why in the previous chapter that is chapter 11 he told the young people to be happy to do things that make them happy in their young full days mm-hmm. but you know the the worst thing with us people the worst thing with us youth we just read the part A of that scripture but the, to part analyze B, the part B the part B says but remember god will bring to judgment everything, everything you that do. you do yeah So to jibambe to nice in the name of kujibamba mm-hmm. everything that you do in your youthful days always have in mind god will bring that into judgment so it's good to have fun and you can still have fun in christ you can yeah. have fun in serving god you can have fun in going preaching the word of god you know the best thing with god as i said last week he gives us peace that's a person's yeah. one understanding and i connect your man kama ko having peace because when i have peace in me i not think of committing suicide i not be depressed no no that is something that is lacking in the secular in the secular world yeah. so the thing is how fun is a young person but always have it in mind god will bring into judgment everything that you do as a young person mm-hmm. yeah so steve maybe yeah, before toward, we take a break something uh-huh. uh, When you say I'm saying ma the bible gives you the freedom to do what you want mm-hmm. but remember for everything that you do one day you will stand before the master yes. and you will give an account uh-huh. uh, uta, uta give account ya Chinyo every wali. single day of your life exactly. whatever thing that you did you will give an account of it so even as the bible tells us to 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 enjoy the days of our youth it also tells us to flee from the passions of youth the things that satisfy us but has glorify god mm-hmm. it tells us to flee from those things so it is ujibambe we enjoy but keep in mind that you know one day when that time comes you will stand before the master and utapea an account, an account of account everything of that you have ever done so it is enjoying but responsibly within the confines of what pleases god Yeah. Then I think that is okay. And uh, just to talk about that is you should differentiate between enjoying yourself and destroying your future. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's so true. if you are destroying your future. Remember you're watching Reborn. It's a Christian show that we are trying to talk about secular music and draw lines where Christians are supposed to be in terms of listening to these songs. We are taking a commercial break and when we are coming we will be coming back we just have to we want to come and read the comments we read the questions and analyze what you guys are talking about and even answer the questions that you are posting uh, remember to follow us on instagram that is talanta underscore institute youtube facebook and twitter at talanta institute stay tuned
Atlanta Records. We are masters in video and music recording, voiceovers, radio and TV jingles, advertisements, movie soundtracks, announcements, radio shows, drama, spoken word, poetry, and any other audio and video related pieces of work. Visit our studios on 9th floor Ambang House or call us on 0734-777778 or 0710-813131. We unveil champions. Talanta Institute is a TV college that has nurtured outstanding talents. We train in TV and film production, journalism, music, animation, performing arts, digital marketing, photography, and DJing. We are located at Ambang House along University Way and also at YMCA Shauri Moyo, Nairobi. We also mentor in entrepreneurship and life skills. Call us on 0734-777778. Talanta Institute, unveiling champions. Hola, that is hello in Spanish. My name is Ivo Wangare and I'm here to speak about my journey at Talanta Institute. And uh, it all began with me doing fashion design at Talanta Institute. And uh, that went well for quite a while until I had to switch courses because of a few things. You know, life is all about ups and downs. So I had to switch and uh, I took media studies, which is mass communication. And uh, that, I would, I would say, before I didn't know the, the thin line between media and fashion design. Because when I was leaving fashion design to do media, I was like, wow, this is a whole new world. But when I got into media, I'm like, wow, you know, the only thing, the only difference is fashion, you're making clothes and media, you just, ooh, just go and you're on the camera and all that. But all in all, it was an experience I've learned a lot and um, what I would say about Talanta Institute is these guys just I knew my talents before I knew I could do so many things but I didn't know I could do them in a perfect way in a better way in a more defined way until I got Talanta Institute because I could sing but you know mediocre mediocre kind of singing but now I do it in a very subtle way thanks to Talanta Institute so the thing is, these guys are so hands-on skills. These guys will fine-tune you everything you can do. They'll fine-tune it and you're like, oh, wow, this is a champion who has been unveiled. Because honestly, right now I know I'm a champion. Like, you don't need to tell me, I know that. So um, what I'll tell you is, uh, before I viewed media as just a course you do and then go out there and then do record things, but now media is more than just a camera. It's more than just you talking to people. It's, it's about sitting down, it's about analyzing yourself, it's about the inner you to the world. And that is what I'm, I'm, I'm growing into, the inner me to you. And yes, so the only thing you need to do is get out of your comfort zone, come to Talanta Institute, have a sitting with us, let us tell you what we do, what we don't do. Of course, we do everything, so there won't be the dons. But anyway, we are going to tell you that and much more. And uh, it's a family. You just come, we embrace you. You won't even realize you're in a school. It's like home. It's so much fun. You don't want to miss out. So just come check us out, Ambang House, and uh, you'll get to learn more about everything. And my parting shot to you is, do you? And just associate yourself with people who bring out the very greatest, truest, person in you so don't just be mediocre just get out there do you follow people like us i mean talanta institute we are doing so great not just for us but because we know we are reaching out to you and we, just, we are not just anything but we are reaching out to your heart and that we have already gotten <laughs> yes that's me eva the diva I joined Talanta Institute to be able to learn practical skills 
but also be able to step out of my comfort zone. And being here has enabled me to become better at my career and learn better practical skills to enhance me in the future. So join Talanta Institute because it's a place for you. Nikitoka ushago ndo ni kuja Nairobi. Dream yangu ilikuwa nataka kuwa msani. But then wakati nilitoa ngoma yangu ya kwanza waswali sema ujamaa na shiraa bana ngoa iwezi make kwa industry. So ilifanya ni give up and then that led me kuwa hoka pale globe. But then yu ilikuwa pia ni hard sana and then ilikuwa na feel lazima nitoke kwa hii life ni kuwe msani mwenye mi nataka kukua. And uh, kwa hiyo process, kwa hiyo journey nika make networks na kuna wase walinisaidia. And then juu watu walinisaidia manze walifanya ni kuwe the guy I am today. Na Talanta Institute hiyo ndi kitu inafanya ku unveil the champion in you. So, hajelishi kitu nataka kudu. Unataka kuwa cameraman, eh, TV production, filmmaking, eh, digital marketing, performing arts. Talanta Institute ikona all this package. Ikusaidia pia wewe unveil the champion in you. Hajelishi ume give up manze. 2020, it's all about unveiling the champion in you. Twende Talanta, unveil the champion in you. music and the lines drawn between Christianity and the secular world on how we are supposed to relate in terms of listening to this music the lyrics the beats and everything and just as we have come back remember we are live on YouTube we are live on Facebook and Twitter that is at Talanta Institute Instagram at Talanta underscore Institute and we are here to just tackle the questions that you guys are asking you our viewers and I have a question here that is uh, it's a nice one don't you think that the secular artists are trying to express a message of the current culture in the country? That is Bichi Collins. That's a very nice question. That's like these guys are singing what is current. What, the, the, current the current world. I think if, if I'm the not wrong. Affairs. The current in the country. What do you think? Uh, well, it is interesting mm -hmm. uh, because every country has a culture. You yeah. have the, the way of life that is generally acceptable. Yes. So, for example, in Kenya, uh, when artists produce songs yes. about politics, about mm -hmm. things that happen in our societies, and we can identify with those things, mm -hmm. the problem is how we present uh, the message of culture and the things that are going on in our society. Mm -hmm. See, if we present them in a way to show that for example, if it's a bad culture, if it's a bad thing that is happening, mm -hmm. and we present that thing to show, uh, like, like if artists use music, Konyesha, that something that is bad is really uh, the right thing to be done, then that is wrong. Mm -hmm. But if we are addressing culture, and if you are addressing things that are happening in our society, but you are looking at them um, in a way, Konyesha, that this is not the right thing, there is a better way to to go about life other than what is generally accepted. I think that that is a good way to go. So yes. if you use music to address culture, but in a way to show people the rights and the wrongs, I think that is that is good. But if you use music, music to, express to, to propagate bad yeah. things, to propagate the mm. ills, the, the bad things, things that are illicit happening. Sex. In, yeah. It mm -hmm. is not right. That, that's what I'll take for that question. Now, there's a guy, Kazungu, Dan, is, is saying that, um, do you think there's, there's, there's a trend that is now in uh, that Christians, the, not Christian, but the secular artists have started turning into the Christian life? Mm -hmm. Sarah, maybe we will be able to you. Okay, you know... <laughs> God works in a miraculous way. Mm -hmm. I know when most of these secular musicians now maybe they become Christian, mm -hmm. some of us now start like saying, Are you sure it was it was a genuine Christianity, maybe turnover or whatever. Yes. But for me what I can say is if someone has truly changed, yes. then I believe he has come up to an equanimba like the case of size eight. We are, okay, but for me, I had some doubts before, but mm. currently, right now, she's doing wonderful mm -hmm. things in the ministry of God. Mm -hmm. So, there, what I know is, 
God, our God is a God of second chance. Yes. He is a forgiving God. He is a merciful God. So even this, when this secular musician get a chance to turn over like from the secularism to the Christianity, mm-hmm. that is a, it's a really improvement in the work of God. So I can't really judge someone at because he was a secular musician. I say I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. I believe the grace of God is always sufficient on their side. So we have some few comments. That is Dennis Masharia enjoying the show. Uh, Jafet Simon, watching from Tanzania. We we Hoke Mwathani, watching from Seattle. Nick Mwinzi is a guy talking about an invite. He's, a, he's an artist. A row. Now, there's someone who had sent me a question about uh, reggae music. And uh, is it permissible to you? use the reggae music in the church? It, it is quite controversial. Mm-hmm. Um, because Utapata, there are songs that we have accepted to be gospel songs, mm-hmm. but they use um, the beats that are used, for example, in reggae mm-hmm. or in some other genre of secular music. It's, it's a controversial question uh, because these songs already exist. Yes. And they have been played in church. Mm-hmm. And at some point, ourselves, or even someone at home viewing, yes. we have interacted with these songs Gospel. in church. So I don't, I, I'd say that we should go back to the drawing board again and, and really understand that we should not borrow what the world does and bring it into Christian context. We should not borrow lyrics or style from mm-hmm. the world and, and bring it and into church, church because in so doing to talk about copy the pattern of the world but uh, it's, it's a really controversial question I can't really give a, a definite answer on it but I'd say let us stick to what the Bible says let us stick to what would please God uh, within uh, the Christian faith I think that is well answered I to answer that yes I go back to what I uh-huh that uh-huh that goes back to the point of analysis. Yes. Is it, what you are listening, is it true, is it noble, is, is it, it pure, is it admirable? <laughs> and as Paul says, yes. if it is then, according to all those standards, yes. well and good, it's mm. good for listening. Then if it is not, then you know the answer. Okay, I think we've just come to the end of our show today. We've talked much about Christianity and all, uh, all the stuff related to watching the secular music, watching and listening even to the lyrics and everything, the beats and how they are related and all that. So I think just to give a wrap up, I know you have, a, the, we call it the parting shots. Maybe Sarah, if you can give just our viewers the parting shot before I close in. Okay, for me, I would say mm-hmm. whatever you listen to, sooner or later will determine your actions on speech. So watch out what you listen to. Mm-hmm. Steve? Uh, I'd say from Romans 12, mm-hmm. uh, at the beginning of Romans 12, in Asama, uh, we should not conform to the patterns of this world, but we should be continuously transformed by the renewal of our minds. Yes. So let us constantly be renewed. Let us constantly uh, align ourselves to the will of God. Mm-hmm. Let us constantly align ourselves to that which uh, pleases God and not that which pleases us. That which pleases God in the first place, even before it can please us. That okay. I, I think to my parting shot is everything that is noble. All things are permissible, but all, not all things are worthy of doing. I think that is just my closing shot. It has been reborn and this we talk about Christianity and everything that revolves around Christianity. And today we were tackling the the, the big task, the big topic of music. It's a wide view and each and every Christian has his own perspective of watching or listening to uh, this secular music and is it right, is it wrong? And I think we've tried to analyze and just give an out view of how we Christians are supposed to do even as we listen to these songs. Remember we will be live next week same place, same time at Atlanta Institute. Keep it locked. Keep your comments coming even as you read. Write them down and Don't forget to follow us on our social platform, that is Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Instagram. Instagram at Talanta underscore Institute. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Talanta Institute. Till next week, have a nice week.